WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, every <clears throat> excuse me. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got quite a positive market so far. S&P is 24 points in the green, trading at 28.68. We got the Nasdaq up 94 points, trading at 77.96, and the Dow up 171 points, trading 25,851. Gold contract negative three dollars at twelve seventy four twenty. Had dipped below twelve seventy briefly early in the morning. We have oil right now trading sixty three ten. Notes and bonds slightly lower price, higher yield. Ten year note negative five ticks one twenty four oh three four. And Bitcoin, how about it? Back above eight thousand. Bitcoin up at eight thousand forty seven. Start things off. Let's take a look at the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow approaching the highs that we made just at about 11 a.m. and also at 9 a.m. 25,870. We're only about 20 Dow points off that level trading 25,848. S&P is pretty similar action. Highs made at 11 a.m. of 2870. We're within two S&P points of that price tag. NASDAQ 100 right up against where we were trading at at about 11. 74.78, we're within four NASDAQ 100 points of that price. Crude oil trading at 63.15, but a little bit of volatility in the crude market this morning. Was up there at 63.77, made it down to a low of 62.79. We get the API inventory number two and a half hours from right now, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Tell them to be on the air for those. And gold with some volatility as well. I mentioned dip below 1270 briefly at about 10 a.m. Eastern time. Back above that level, gold trading at 1274. And uh, I'm going to jump to, what was I reading? There we go. How about that story I was just checking out? Apple had bid to buy Tesla in 2013 for $240 a share. So you have uh, Craig Irwin, a Capital Partners, um, talking to CNBC and pretty, you know, un unconfirmed, you could say, reports in terms of the you know, uh, Tesla not confirming this, Apple not confirming this, but nonetheless, pretty interesting when you look at the fact that Tesla, it's 2019, Tesla's trading at 197, and they could have sold to Apple in 2013 at $240 a share. One point that they point out in this article, though, is that if Apple was going to be a buyer then, they might be a buyer now. So uh, we might not see that $10 a share that uh, Morgan Stanley was talking about, worst case scenario. Should be an interesting story that will play out. That's right. As Dave White says, $420 funding secured. Dave White coming up right now, folks. Stay tuned.